I was looking forward to Manny coming. Uh, I mean that he booked a hunt about two years ago and this is his first guided hunt. And my mule deer aren't a cheap hunt, they're a fairly top end hunt. But he really wanted to go on a good mule deer hunt and it was great to uh, have a guy who was so excited about doing it. And we worked out a little different payment plan where he was paying me every two weeks for a year and a half to get his hunt paid for. And he had to, you know, I knew he had to work hard to pay for that hunt, so I, then he drove up all the way from Texas for 53 hours to get here. And actually I was kind of nervous when he came because I'm thinking, man, he's gone to so much to make this hunt, to get up here, just a big dream for him. And then a guy like that, I wanted to make sure I just gave him the best hunt I could, because I could really relate to that type of person, because that's the background I come from. You make a great trip, say from Del Rio to here, a lot of people might look at it like, well, that's really kind of insane or crazy. And it might be, but to me, it's what you see along the way and then the final outcome. And it's a goal that you set from Del Rio to Alberta, and then you achieve it and you go back happy. And that's what made me happy and uh, I accomplished that, you know. The big mule deer are really smart here. Like once they get up to that, even four plus years old, they get really smart. And and especially if they get into the five and six year old category, those deer are a whole different animal. They act differently. And I might be able to get photos of them and scout them in July and August. But then when it comes to the hunting seasons in September, you can't make too many mistakes on those deer. They'll run into the bush when they see a vehicle and some deer I might see two or three times in the summer and then it, they're hard to find. But if we know the area as well, and we keep going back to the same places where I've seen the big deer, we usually find them. You're just in awe, really, in a lot of ways because of the size of the mule deer, the abundance of mule deer. A lot of the things, too, is the backgrounds in this place, these places. You've got big old fields, timber lines, and all of a sudden you see a big mule deer pop up. It's something that you see in magazines, but now it's a reality for me, and I've actually seen it, and it's something that I'll never forget. Yeah, man just come into this field because lots of times I see good bucks it gets lots of deer in here it's like that doe down there good this is all peas I see swath peas mm -hmm. there's I think there's some bucks right out there yeah right on that horizon there's a bunch of them right there look like something that'll stick in the back of my mind and in the front I guess is uh to actually see as much wildlife as we did uh, so close together, so close knit together in this type of t country and terrain. I mean, we've seen moose, we've seen uh, bears, we've seen mule deer, we've seen white-tailed deer, we've seen coyotes, we've seen wolves, all in this one zone. I mean, who knows what's out there? Driving up, I kept thinking, heck, a deer down there, might he could see us coming forever. You know, because it's just as wide open as you can see, but I realized and learned something from that that there's so much cover in those wheat fields and it's not as flat as you think it looks. There's a lot of depressions in there and that's where really those mule deer are hiding. There's such a number of species and they do so well here because it's such a great mix of agricultural land and heavy woods or bush areas where there, there's lots of escape cover and these big creek drainages that come off the Peace River where it's inaccessible. It's really deep river drainages where hunters don't like to go it's so steep down into those places. Yeah, he looks good on the skyline, but he's not. He's not a real good buck, though. Them other ones are sure interested on these peas, ain't they? Yeah. Would be some good bucks there for the next couple of years. Oh, I imagine. Yeah. I think I've seen another pretty good one go away through the fog down over there. In your scouting, have you seen some other deer besides what you see there? Yeah, we saw a really big wide one here. Really? Yeah, he's close to 30 inches wide, extra wow. long, so just kind of thin. Well, Mike, looks like they made it into the fog line. Yeah, I don't think there's any good deer right here. I'll just check some other places. Okay. Check some other fields and just cover some ground first thing in the morning. It's kind of the best way to do it from yes, the truck. Sir. Good way to start, 10 right off the gate. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's do it.
life is so fragile because you can be here one minute and gone the next, but yet you're in Mother Nature's hands, and this is what they have to offer. Got a good wind, don't we, Mike? Yeah. Well, the wind's going the right way. Yes. It's coming out of here, and this morning, I saw a little buck over here, mm -hmm. and he's been hanging out with this bigger one that I saw. I've got some pictures of him, and I, he's been hanging out here and going into those trees, and then sometimes they like to bed in this field. Okay. We'll just ease into the field and just walk really slow. It's kind of a rolly field. Okay. And uh, we'll just see if we can spot their antlers okay. out in the crop. That big buck is hanging out with that little one that I saw. Okay. Still. Okay. We're ready. Should be somewhere, it should be somewhere in between here and the trees, that little buck, you know. Between this this little node right here and this break? Yeah, right. down there. There's kind of, there's this low spot here and then there's another, I think another one back there. Okay. This is where they've been kind of hanging out. So maybe find them here. I just need to carefully look over each bit to see it, you know, because usually I'm just looking for a piece of antler mm -hmm. sticking just out of the crop, and it's really hard to spot. That blends in good with wheat. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see any, so we'll just move ahead slow, take a look again. see a big back fork on him. That's him for sure. Oh yeah, 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 I see, him. There. I see him. Yeah. Boy, that's a monster, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can just see that that's big back, back fork. fork. Yeah. Oh yeah, he should get up any time over Oh yeah. Yeah, sure enough, he didn't move from there, did he? Oh, it's, it's just weird, weird. I just stand there. But you can see that fork right yeah. come on. He just didn't want to go, because he's just following the lead of that big deer. That big deer, he's just standing there. Like, even if he can hear us, he's Why just... Why did you spot that? I don't know. Just spotted that again, those little piece of antler sticking out. But he can't... We're far enough away that he can't hear us or yeah. nothing. He just... He's right to the right of that deer, but... Yeah, he on. If he gets up, he'll get up. He'll get up pretty mellow, because that little guy's mellow. So he'll get up and look at us. He'll give us plenty of time to shoot at him. Yeah. He's getting up. He's up. Okay. Oh yeah, that's him for sure, Manny. Yeah, okay. Just get right on him. Okay. Just get right on him, Manny, and just wait for him to turn broadside. He's looking that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on the top of the crop. Just right on the top. Oh yeah, you got him. It's a good 
John, it's a good hit. Let's just get hit. Just stay on him. Just stay on him. It's a good hit, Manny. Oh, yeah, that's great. He's not going far at all. Oh, he's hit hard. He's hit hard. He's going to go down. He's going to go down. Oh, yeah. You got him, Manny. Good job. Is <laughs> worth all that long drive, man? Oh, yeah. That's great, Manny. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a nice team. Oh, man. We got to get up there and see him. Woo! <laughs> yeah, he's down for good. <laughs> yes, That's sir. That's great, man. First day. He's a nice deer. He's a really good deer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, 50 hours of driving all the way yeah. from Texas. You get yes, sir. Nice deer on the first day. Thank you. I think with the weather and the view of the country, as, as you well know, during our hunt, there was a period of time there when it was really overcast, but the wind was always on our favor. I mean, it was on our side the whole time. And then that overcast kind of blew over and the sun come up. It totally changed a lot of things as far as me not only looking at that deer and being focused on that deer, but what a place to be in. I mean, you see the leaves turning, the high aspens, the spruce trees. I mean, you see the, the wheat just kind of rolling with the wind. But then in the back of your mind, you're like, I still have something to do here. And then you look there and there's that great big old monster deer. You put all that in conjunction, it's, it's uh, pretty amazing. He went right down there. That one shot, he went down, he started going down, and then he just, yeah. see where it's a little high right here, that little bed? Right in there is where I think he went in. He went cut across that other row. The crop's so deep, it's hard to see where he's laying. I think it's, it's right up here. We couldn't pick a better evening for this. Oh, it's just unreal. picture perfect, you know? He went down right over here. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, there he is. He's oh, right man. there. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> nice, man. Holy Check God. him out. Man. Nice and heavy. You know what gets me is just the mass all the way through where it's carried on from the beams all the way out. And right here at these webs, I mean, they just get wider and then all the way yeah, through. Yeah, and it's kind of webbed He never up actually here. papers off nowhere. No. You know, it's carried out all the way through. Yeah, really nice. Great deer. Yes, sir. Now we've got a lot of work to do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to get them all. Get them out of this field and get them cut up before we use up the yes, last sir. of our light. We don't have much left, but it was really nice.